Okay, here's the problem statement of question 5 of this exercise. ABC is an isosceles triangle with AB equal to AC. Draw AP perpendicular to BC to show that angle B is equal to angle C. So let's draw a figure uh, the way the problem indicates. So we have uh, this triangle ABC which is isosceles with AB equal to AC as indicated by the markers. Now the problem says draw AP perpendicular to BC. So let's do that. So from um, point A, we draw this perpendicular line uh, to BC, which intersects BC at P, and this is perpendicular. And now using this construction, we have to show that the angle at B is equal to the angle at C, or angle B equal to angle C. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare the two triangles that are formed in the figure, triangle APB and triangle APC. So in triangle APB and triangle APC, let's compare these two triangles. So we have this side AP common to both the triangles. So we can say AP is equal to AP common. Also, we are given that the uh, side AB is equal to the side AC. So AB is equal to AC. This is given to us. And also the angle formed at P in the first triangle, which is angle APB must be equal to the angle uh, formed here, angle APC, because both of these angles are equal to 90 degrees. So angle APB is equal to angle APC. And why? Because both of these angles are equal to 90 degrees. So what do we have? We have these two triangles. Uh, APB and APC in which um, one side is common so equal the hypotenuse hypotenuses are equal and both of the angles are uh, both of the triangles are right angled triangles hence we can apply the RHS congruence criterion to claim that the two triangles are congruent so we can say that triangle APB is congruent to triangle APC using the RHS congruence criterion okay and now because these two triangles are congruent uh, all their corresponding parts must be equal and in particular the angle at B must be equal to the angle at C so we can say that angle B equal to angle C using uh, corresponding parts of congruent triangles applied to these two triangles APB and APC so that completes our proof that the uh, that angle B is equal to angle C. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.